So this is Kim Petras. She's a Sports Illustrated uh, swimsuit model, one of the cover models this year. Very beautiful. Um, and she is a trans woman. Uh, and I kind of wanted to give Ryan Cannell some credit. Because, so I looked over, like, I was expect like, here's the deal for Ryan Cannell. He is such a bottom feeder. He will jump on any opportunity to, like, misgender somebody or dead name them. Like, he is such a giant tremendous piece of shit that he always jumps on that opportunity and like i just assumed this would be like red meat for him but like he didn't cover it he did not cover it i'm on his channel he did not cover this and you know he's got lots of cringe on here but you know what you know what uh, you know i gotta give him some credit i gotta give him some credit um he didn't cover it but i didn't see a whole lot of these guys covering it um I found some strange channel called Sports Wars that apparently covered it. So I thought we would look over that real fast. Over the last several years, as sports media has continued to... Oh. So, I gave the piece of shit too much credit. Yeah, no, uh, apparently Sports Wars is the Geeks and Gamers sports channel. Um, uh, mm. To push down the woke rabbit hole of nonsense, we've seen places like Sports Illustrated become complete and total laughing stocks, especially when it comes to who they decide to feature for the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Now, for decades, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition was the talk of the town. Everybody was always talking about who's on the cover, who gets this cover. I think it's funny. He's talking about, oh, they used to talk about, and here's literally him talking about it. Um... Apparently it still is. Oh, and uh, I I want to go ahead and uh, say thank you, Ryan, for just going ahead and putting that Breitbart is your source on this uh, right there. Uh, I swear you guys usually like to hide that fact, but you know it's it's right there. Maybe it's because we keep on catching you using it. Mm. Over who gets in it, it was a big deal, and a lot of dudes love picking up that Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. No doubt about that. It seems like in the past several years, they've done everything they can to move away from that, from including people who you wouldn't traditionally describe as attractive on the cover to promote body inclusivity and positivity and all this shit. Well, when people found out Martha Stewart, 81-year-old Martha Stewart, was going to be one of the Sports Illustrated cover models, they thought, wow, that might be the most controversial thing we hear about this year. Well... That is not the case because although Martha Stewart, a lot of people are talking about her 81 years old. Gotta admit, she looks pretty damn good for 81 years old. There was another cover model that has drawn a lot more attention. As if being a Grammy award-winning artist and history maker wasn't enough, Kim Petras is now adding SI swimsuit cover model to her list of accomplishments. Now, if you check out, well, there's, there's Michaela Rose right there. This is a man. You can see it's been ratioed pretty hard. And there certainly is a... It got, I'm, I'm still, wait, where's the ratio? Hold on, I got ratioed hard. The reason for that is... Wait, go back. That, that, that was a hard ratio? Your thing is blocking it, Ryan. I have no idea what the ratio is. It got 4,000 views to this 1 million. What's the ratio? <laughs> okay, let's look it up. Let's see, let's see how badly this was actually ratioed. Hold on. I will say Twitter's become a right-wing cesspool, so maybe it did get ratioed, but, like, he didn't show that. <laughs> Fun fact, even if uh, this does end up being ratioed, it kind of just proves that Twitter's become a cesspool of transphobia. God damn, they tweet a lot. When uh, when was this? Uh, yeah, they go over all the models. Is that it? Was that the picture he was looking at? No, it was the cover picture. No. Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, the quartering added in. Nice. Nice. Well, I guess the quartering, uh, guess he ratioed it, I guess. It has more likes than the other one. That's pretty cringe. Um, so, I believe the lesson I'm learning is that, yes, Twitter is a cesspool of transphobia. Hey, girl has no name. Yeah, no, it almost seemed like that's what he was trying to imply, that, like, 
the likes outweigh the the likes on the views on here outweigh the likes, which is that's not a ratio. <laughs> but let's let's see what else he has to say. Mm. It's been ratioed pretty hard, and there certainly is a reason for that, and it's because this person is a biological man. Uh, Sports Illustrated for I think the second time in history has decided that they want. Uh, well. Actually, Ryan, I don't think anybody's arguing uh, their birth gender. Um, just uh, not birth gender, birth sex. But uh, this is a uh, trans woman or another way of saying uh, woman. But to, uh, they want to trick you. They want to try to put a biological man on the cover of Sports Illustrated, uh, the swimsuit edition. So well, I mean, it's, it's, it's a trans woman, Ryan. Uh, do you need me to explain it to you? It's a trans woman. Uh, this person was born male and is now female. Uh, there's lots of people who've covered this. Do you, do you need paperwork? I mean, what's your problem? <laughs> Something that I would imagine is predominantly bought by men. Uh, here's Scarlett Johnson. The 2023 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition cover is a biological man with fake boobs. I really hope men are done with Sports Illustrated. Wow. What a bitch. I uh, have yeah, this might seem old fashioned, but I preferred it when Sports Illustrated bikini models didn't have dicks. I, uh, yeah. The fuck? Like, you're just assuming. Uh, I don't even know if I want to dignify that. Uh, just assuming she hasn't had bottom surgery. But of course, that's a choice because some people choose not to have bottom surgery. But what does that fucking have to do with anything? Um,. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good point, Dice. Like, usually, like, men are usually happy with fake boobs on a woman, but all of a sudden, uh, well, fake boobs on a cis woman, uh, but fake boobs on a trans woman? Oh, that's inexcusable? What What the fuck? Mm. Now, I believe that Kim Petras underwent gender re- Yes, exactly, girl has no name. Yeah, no one, no one on a Sports Illustrated swimsuit uh, model cover has ever had fake boobs. This is the first time ever. Watch, she doesn't even actually have fake boobs. Just the, the, the hormone replacement therapy was that effective and gave her big boobs. <laughs> Reassignment surgery at like 18 years old, maybe even less than that. Maybe even before this person was eight. She's a fairly public figure. She might have that information out. Maybe, I don't know, look it up. But odds are, if it was before 18, it wasn't long before 18. It's usually 18 uh, when they start actually doing surgeries because, you know, they doctors don't usually allow it before that point. 18 years old. Uh, if you've ever had an impossible dream, take hope. Sports Illustrated just put an 81-year-old woman and a 30-year-old man on the cover of their swimsuit issue. This is like him going, hey, guys, look, did you guys know Twitter's transphobic? Twitter's transphobic. Here's some transphobia on Twitter, guys. And I'm going to do some transphobia, too. Good work. Anything is possible in clown world. Reach for the stars. And there's a lot of backlash over this, and rightly so. You well, I uh, something I noticed when I'm going through this, and I remember seeing that she's not the first trans model they had on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Uh, she's actually the third. Um... But, you know, uh, you know, you get some easy clicks, you know, being a transphobe on YouTube, I guess. Uh, apparently, YouTube's cool with transphobia. Do you think this is going to boost sales? Do you think more people are going to buy Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition because you put a biological man on there? There's no... No. No, they might buy it, though, because they put a beautiful woman on there. Just saying possible way that's only going to drive your audience away it's all about social justice and virtue signaling and i no it's probably has more to do with the fact that she's a beautiful woman and hey and let's face it uh you know putting a trans woman on there obviously it's getting the clicks putting a trans woman on there and obviously you're doing a video about it so it got attention so uh i guess yay for that but like She's a beautiful woman. Who cares? Identity politics and woke nonsense. The same shit we've seen from Sports Illustrated, from ESPN, from all these different people in the sports media. It's one of the reasons Sports Illustrated is dying in general. And I don't think that this is going to help. In fact, it's only going to drive more people away from this brand when you decide to do things like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think uh, Ryan Canal's awful.
books, records, films, these things matter. Call me shallow. It's the fucking truth.